Howdy all, this is Shane. We're looking at the Equalizer GE7 by Boss. It allows you to get more treble, bass, mids and so forth in your sound than possible just from your amplifier. So I'm just going to play something and then I'm going to turn this thing on and see what I need to adjust in my sound. So I might use my hands for this one. as it is but I want a bit more tops so I'm going to turn the top end up here maybe turn a little of the bass out and let's kick it in now immediately when I click this pedal in I hear some hiss I heard that out of the Behringer pedal and I thought it was just the Behringer pedal but um, it seems to be that well now from experience most of these EQ pedals will give you more hiss and I, that also said I have just boosted the top end of the um, frequency range on the pedal so here we go here's the same part I'm going to turn it on and off as I play massive difference in the tops now that this is on. I mean even playing lead necessarily the sound I like but that's a, a bit of an example of how the EQ can change your sound dramatically and uh, let's bring the bass back in basically an example of how an EQ pedal can dramatically change your tone in any way that you like. You can scoop the mids, you can add more mids, you can just use it as a basically like as a boost pedal as well. Like if you if you pump the mids up a little bit more and then turn it on, you're going to get a lot more decibels of sound coming out of your amp and um, it's really cool. So you can use it as a lead boost or just to change your tone or to give you some of those frequencies that you think you might be missing. But the only downside of it is it does make your amp 
hiss. Let's put it off. And that's with it on. I don't know if that's going to come through the uh, video cameras or not, but um, it does add a lot of noise, or a lot of natural hiss anyway, um, much like the Behringer one did. So um, that's just one of those things. But in a live situation, you're going to get more benefit out of that, as well as um, recording. You can probably EQ the exact sort of sound that you do want. And uh, thanks to that, James. It's a cool pedal, man. It's old school. I don't know what year this one is, but. Um, yeah, I haven't seen one of these for a while, so they've definitely changed their design, so thanks.